Somebody is saying here, we're at four o'clock, so I'm going to wind it down. Can you speak on the mother ark returning to reclaim and restore her creation and the planetary grid returning to the Sophianic female coding? It already happened. You didn't see it? <laughs> this is what's going on. We're looking outside for something that would take place within and just the sheer fact that the only thing you would be able to see externally is the revelation of this UFO from the military is the beginning of the discourse between us and the alien. This is what Pierre Sabak also explained. It's encrypted in the language. Who is the alien? The one that you're not familiar with, the foreigner. Now, there is an external alien. There is an external being that is on some external destroy type stuff, right? But what's most important is that internal alien, the foreigner, the one that you don't recognize, which is your organs and all your powers and getting them back into alignment and then returning to yourself, right? Because that's the only way that we're going to be activating things because many people think, once again, you know, you think the mother is like powerless and that we're just over here abusing the mother. Like, <laughs> <laughs> these are massive beings. Some would liken them unto dragons and, 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 and big aquatic entities with large minds. So if you think that, you know, you're over here doing damage to them, <laughs> you need to understand that nature has been harvesting and, 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 and I guess the word that I'm looking for is actually um, nature has been the haven for many different types of beings. You're still on the good, bad Catholic program, but there are things here right now that live here on earth that have temperaments that are hostile to you. There are places that you can go in the jungle where the things you see in there will hunt you. But if you're in this mindset and you're like, the mother is only beautiful and lovely and she cares for all of us, it's because you're in the program. You're only seeing one side of the snake. You're not seeing that everything eventually gets consumed by this. You're not seeing something like another life form get run down by another life form and get its life taken from it. You're in this fictitious human world at times thinking nature is just like a good thing when it's everything that we're experiencing in the physical plane and parts of our mind. So it's important to realize that this mother arc returning, reclaiming Sophionic female coding is actually really about when Thoth, which is a male and a female, and androgenin, which is corresponding to the moon's dark side and visible side, is to be activated and returned inside of us, taking us to the point <clears throat> in the garden where the split happened that made us appear that we are male or female. Takes you all the way to that point where you now realize why some can't figure out if the moon is a woman, while in the Sumerian text it referred to the moon as a male. Some can't figure out whether the angels are women or if they're male. And in many other occult sanctums and with occult things, there is a confusion between whether this is a man, like Nin Hersag or Nin Grishida, is there, or is it a woman? Because everything that says Nin inside of the Sumerian text is a woman, like Ninurtu and all the rest of them. So what it's a coding of is that, listen, you have both poles. You have a positive and a negative. You are a male and a female. You are a sun and a moon. You are a soul and a spirit. Any other, or a, sun, a, a soul and a flesh. Any, any dualistic terminologies can always be summed up as that. So in order for there to be a return you would need to actually be able to come to terms with that. And then you experience the Sophianic, which is the Sophia or Soph, which is enlightenment, right? It's an intelligence that taps you into all that there is to be learned and to be known. And then you begin your process there with the counselor. That's why Sophia was the Holy Ghost, also known as the great counselor, because it's an energy that rides with you, just like Thoth is an energy that rides with humanity. It's not one specific person and being how we see it. It's a spirit that fills many things. It's a personality. It's a trait. And once you learn that, then you also learn how to command elementals, fire, earth, wind, and water, because you're able to recognize this stuff, not externally trying to look up at the sky and wait on it, but internally that it's a sign that the work is almost complete. 
And what has been going on is a bunch of distraction to get people looking outside because if you lay down at night right now and you start going into the dream world a little bit, you'll start feeling something, especially if you have your, your stuff at least halfway turned on, you're feeling things and seeing things that you never felt or seen before. Some stuff is even unidentifiable. It's not good, it's not bad, but it's something. And it's getting closer and it's closer. That's the grand awakening. So for if you're not experiencing that, which we've all been at that stage, then you got to sit in for the tutelage. 